music be the fruit of love, play on, say I. To me, music is the most blessed of art forms, but I am slightly biased. Okay, the first step in piano tuning is to do what's called the temperance. I'll take 12 notes from the middle of the keyboard and make sure that they are very, very well tuned between each other. This relates to the planning stages for couples where you set down the foundations in a marriage and how you're going to go forward in life. I'll tune the bass notes. Now the lowest notes underpin all the harmonic relationships in a musical texture, so their importance cannot be underestimated. I liken these low notes to the everyday interactions that a married couple will experience. We have to pay close attention to the bass or everything on top will sound wrong. Well, tuning the high notes is probably the most difficult because the speed of vibration goes extremely fast and the touch that you have to exert on the tuning tool is really delicate. Well, when we have arguments, some of them can be just as hard to harmonize, like the high notes on a piano. When they are in tune, however, there's a crystalline quality to the notes that is truly superb. But one of the most important parts of tuning is getting the octaves right. That means you tune the C's together, then you move on to the C sharps, then the D's, and so on. Some things in marriage have to be perfectly right, just like the octaves, such as respect, fidelity, and consideration, just to mention a few. When they are not in tune, the octaves will be noticed more than any of the other notes, as will these primary concepts in the life of a couple. So there you have a well-tuned piano, fit for purpose. Just as it takes years to learn piano tuning skills, it also takes years to forge a vibrant and dynamic marriage. And like that great musical instrument, it's well worth the investment.